All right, you guys know what it is. Palace Summer 2021 range video. First drop of this collection, which is going to be the largest drop of the collection, will be this Friday, May 7th, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can calculate what that will be for you. It's gonna be a longer video because we're going through all these items. So we'll just jump right into it. First off, we have the Tri-Flag Hooded Jacket, which I actually really like. I like the work jacket, but I wish the work jacket blank would have been a little bit thicker. It looks kind of thin, but as far as the design goes, you have this Palace Triferg, you know, all familiar with it in blue, and then flags kind of like circling around it. And I, I personally, I like the dark colorway just because the flags really pop on that colorway as opposed to the white one. They blend in a little bit more. And, you know, also notice they have the P flag there, which is kind of cool. But yeah, I like this piece. It comes in those two colorways, and that is it. Next up, we have another jacket, which this was among one of the earlier teasers that we got for this season, the Chain Stitch Bomber. And it says bomber, but get big varsity vibes off this with the, the piping and then the ribbon as well. As far as the graphic on the back goes, once again, I love this. This duck and then, or a mallard and then palace and cursive, I believe embroidered. Uh, looks beautiful. I would have rather seen this on maybe like a um, a chore coat would have been cool. Or another work jacket would have worked really well for this one. And then maybe like a corduroy collar if it were a chore coat. That'd be dope. But yeah, comes in a couple different colorways. I think that green one is the best just because it goes with the, uh, the duck, the mallard. So moving forward, we have the infinity denim, which is paying homage to another mc escher design which I, I believe that's the artist's name mc escher he made the triferg as well these like paradoxical shapes um that you know could never truly happen which is of course the case for the triferg this is another one where it's kind of like an infinite rope going on reminds me of some chains like a cuban chain a uh, cuban link chain i believe that's what the what the name of it is the jewelry but yeah, I personally would have, you know, liked to see them go like a Versace route with this, make it like gold and then have the background white. Maybe throw some randomness in the pattern, like some chain motions instead of this really, you know, just straight and rigid diagonal. But yeah, they, they do a denim set every season. This is a, I don't know, it's not terrible, but I, I'm not crazy about the top. We have a canvas shirt, so like a BDU. We got a little Triford patch. This material looks really nice. Canvas, they're saying. Looks like a little bit of like an aged canvas. Never, I've never really cared for this type of camo, but the black one looks clean. Just like a really plain shirt. We have the cozy knit. You have this bunny, and we're going to see this a lot this season. They're doing a bunch of different like Japanese style designs, maybe. I'm not sure um, what language this is, but yeah, it says palace. You got a little flower. And yeah, we'll see this on a bunch of stuff this season. But yeah, the knit, the knit looks nice. The finger up knit. This is a design we've seen before. Pal Ace, middle finger. Uh, it's a nice purple, but the design is, uh, I've never really cared for the design too much. Good colorways though, I will say. None of those are really missing, which Palace usually has some pretty wacky colorways. So we have the Hippie Salute shirt coming in this pink colorway. And I do like this graphic on the back. Would I wear it? No. But we have this Pal Ace spell out, a bunch of mushrooms, some Terminator hands, clinking some glasses, a bunch of hippie vibes, you know, big peace sign. Um, let's see, we also have in a blue colorway. I think the pink one, yeah, pink and blue. I will say the pink looks a lot better than the blue. We have the, the inky shirt, which uh, this is trash. I, it's like they took all the like cringy tattoos you can get and put them onto a shirt which makes sense like inky that's probably what they're going for they got the tramp stamp down here uh the big dragon on the front uh the heart but it says palace instead of like mom or something but yeah i, I don't care for this uh we have the gassy shirt which gas station shirt I, I think this is an stp logo is that is that what it usually is it's definitely a play on some logo i think that's what it's supposed to be but yeah, it, it's clean. The I will say, I guess the PAL logo, their play on the the original logo, it doesn't work the greatest. Not feeling it, but colorways look clean. Uh, we have the underline long sleeve polo. And it's just basically a polo. Don't really care for that. 
the cozy top, Kasi, Kasi top, I don't know. Uh, we're gonna have a couple different designs, I believe. Yeah, a couple different designs and colorways. So I like when they do this, they just entirely, they have like one piece, it's like a soccer jersey, and then they'll swap up the designs for it entirely. Like this one has some weird fishnet grid going on, which I don't care for that. Um, there's the bunny again. This one has a bunch of rhombuses, <laughs> um, diamonds. And then, yeah, that one's not bad. And then this blue one, um, also not bad. It's clean. I don't like the bunny, but pally pal. Yeah, I don't like the bunny, but yeah, it's, it's not bad design other than that. Uh, infinity denim jean, just the pants looking super baggy. I don't have any palace pants, but they look like they fit just very wide. I uh, wear these, the cargo pant olive. Like, look at that dump truck, dude. Anyway. Cargo pant, uh, oh, DPM print, interesting camo. Wasn't expecting that. Um, what else we got? Looks like that's all we got for those. Uh, we have the canvas paint, plain pant, which uh, matched those canvas shirts we saw. Usually how they do it, top to match, the, or a bottom to match the top. Uh, we have the shell pant, the mesh pocket shell pant, and these are clean, uh, very simple. I like them, a little 3M action going on, a little 3M detailing going on. Um, I do like the black one, other colorway, probably pass, white pants, even though if, maybe they were like a cream, I don't know. Uh, the font shell pant, very simple, very simple, just a tiny little spell out on the leg. Uh, the hippie salute denim shorts, man, I can't get behind jorts, uh, just, I don't know, I, I know they're making a little bit of a comeback, or maybe they already made a comeback, but I can't get behind jorts. We have the swim shorts, um, yeah, just that. Uh, Nothing really special for me on that one. The belter shorts. Uh, I don't like this grid. I don't like, it. Nah, I don't like that. Uh, RN cargo shorts. Matching the same colorways for those other pants we looked at. I'm going to get a black probably. Yep. Not bad. Just nothing really special about them though. Um, the stitch up shell shorts. Navy. Which, alright. If these were in like a sweat short material, I wouldn't care for it, but they appear to be like a nylon and I actually like this. I like this colorway specifically. Don't like this colorway. I'm not a fan of that green color. I don't like this either. Um, black and gray. Yeah, these are really the only ones I'm feeling, those bottoms. But you also have the so far shell, shell shorts, which so far stuff is like the basically stuff. If you guys aren't familiar, Pals does a lot of stuff they will be like called basically uh and then just says palace has a blue bar above it and a red one below either that or this the opposite of that and then the so far stuff is always just this tiny little triferg patch on it uh the mesh pocket shell jacket so although it does have this grid pattern going on i like this i like it got a nice triferg branding right in the front on the pocket doesn't get obstructed by anything it's you know front and center and it looks nice. It looks good. I, I like it. <laughs> uh, black colorway and the blue colorway. Blue colorway is looking sexy. Uh, gray one isn't really hidden for me. But we also have the mesh pocket shell shorts, which uh, I don't know if it translates the greatest on shorts. Maybe you guys might feel better, but um, those mesh like pants or whatever that they had were a little bit better. I'm not digging the shorts. All right. We also have the Pal Bro crew neck. Obviously a play on Moral Bro. But I think they missed out on their colorways here. They could have done a lot better colorways. Like a, major, uh, a majorly red one with a little bit of cream and then maybe some black accents would have hit very hard. Instead, we got this. has a little bit of red going on. Also, the paneling on the back on the shoulders right here. I don't care for that. Not, nah, miss me with that. Uh, this one has interesting colors, but it's not what I would want to see from this design. And this one, you know, just some basic colors. That's, yeah, a little bit disappointing. Uh, we have the Palbro shorts as well, which I think work a little bit better, but not enough to warrant a cop from me. Uh, the shell out jacket. I don't, I don't like this spell out, how, how much it's spaced out. I don't like the font. Just everything's a pass in there, and then those joggers are going to match. The relaxed track top, just a very basic track top palace on the back it appears to be embroidered maybe um but yeah i got that and then the relaxed track pant gonna be the same thing the sportini hood 
I I don't know if I can. Yeah, I don't know. It's hard for me to get behind sweatshirts or hoodies with a different colored hood on the inside. It always looked kind of tacky to me, a little bit cheap. Um, I guess that colorway doesn't look too bad, but like these ones, the yellow and purple and the gray and orange. Yeah. The camo one's the only one that's like all right for me, but um, just the ARC logo just really isn't that special for me either. So, and then sweats to match, nothing too special. Um, so here we have the stitch up pattern again, but this time it is going to be in the sweatshirt material. Teddy Fresh did something like this, basically the same exact thing. I know other brands have done it before. Supreme has done like a really small um, squared version of this for, I don't know, some type of like work or trench coat. No, not trench, um, chore coat. But yeah, I've never, I've never been a fan of this type of cut and sewn, just the, the patches. And, uh, you know, like I said, I was, you know, kind of surprised that I liked the maroon and red uh, colorway for the shorts. But, yeah. We have the Try Me hood, which I think this is puff print, kind of edgy. You have this kind of, like, dark, just uh, almost horror-esque triferg. It's interesting. Got some stuff going up on the hood either, but... I don't know if it's Palace. Palace has had some collaborations too recently that kind of goes into this like darker, edgier lane of designs, and I just don't think it's a look for them. The, their designs are like too playful. There's a look at what the hood looks like. You you really don't need this on the hood either. I don't like that up on the hood, but yeah, pass for me. Saw some people liking it though. We have these joggers here. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, kind of a lazy design. I, I've never really cared for this when you just put like. A spell out going down the pant. I don't know. Uh, the P's vest, which <laughs> interesting. They call it a vest when it's just like a basketball jersey. Um, oh, all right. I do like this. I, I like how they have the play on everything. I don't know what team this is. I'm not into the NBA at all. But uh, Dallas, I'm going to go with. The Spurs, maybe. <laughs> um, is this the Pacers? Bro, I don't know. I'm really making a fool of myself right now but anyway basketball jerseys we got the shorts to match and yeah i don't know if you're into the nba i could see how you'd like it if it's like cool flips on a team that you like but other than that nah. we have this design once again i really don't like it on the zip up it looks whack the the only silhouette i think it translates well onto was the back of that button up in the pink colorway specifically we have the It's a Kind of Magic hoodie, which has uh, the Queen spell out, and then a play on the Queen uh, band, headed by Freddie Mercury. I'm sure you guys know them. Scalaboosh, Scalaboosh. Uh, instead, made up of the Palace skateboarders, the riders, the Palace team. I recognize this guy in the back. I don't recognize the guy in the front. Left is Lucian, I believe, Lucian Clark. And then we have Rory. Uh, I'm not sure what his last name is, but... Yeah, I like this one. Black colorways hitting. I don't know if they have it in any other colorways, though. All right, yeah, just the black, which is good because um, the fade would be really bad if they did any other colorway. So that makes sense. But, yeah, that's just a play on an old Queen album cover. I'm not sure which album it was. I think my mom actually had that CD. But, anyway, we got the Pal Palace Labyrinth hood, which plays into kind of like the more edgier designs once again. Uh, we have some tribal going down the sleeves and then this old english like blocky spell up pass for me it just ain't their their lane man uh, i haven't seen anything really hit for me that they've done there's maybe like one collaboration piece of the collaborations i mentioned but other than that nah we got the tri-chrome hood which i like this i really wish they would have put this on some tees i don't think they have it on any t-shirts but Yellow colorway, I don't know if that's really working. Green colorway, looking sexy. Gray, eh, I don't know. Uh, baby blue, I think, probably. Yeah, kind of working with the chrome blue there. The white one, interesting how we got like more yellow or orangish tones in the bottom of it. Navy, sure, that's fine. Black, I think, works the best, though. Not a bad design at all. We have the Sporty Bits Funnel Green. Don't like this colorway. Color blocking is interesting though. Purple and pink could be cool, but maybe not with the color blocking. Black on black is too plain. Yeah, I don't know. Pass for me. 
the the Mamma Mia, <laughs> Mamma Mia crew. Uh, we have like a very sporting esque type sweater or crew neck. Got this crest on the front. We have some sportif stuff on the sleeve, embroidered, and then a pal spell on the back. Ooh, I really like this purple, but um, I don't know. The design overall is aside. The home crew, which I believe is supposed to be like a zen, like meditation, like home type thing. Yeah, palace on the front. Whatever this means, a little triferg, a little peace globe embroidery. Uh, and then it says palace. There's no place like home. Uh, the orange colorway is cool. White colorway is not bad. Black colorway is working too. Not a bad piece. The healthy crew. Uh, too basic. Too basic for me. I believe this is puff print from one of the lookbook pictures it looked like it might be. Um, especially on this camo. This camo, the cuffs are looking like the ribbing is looking really faded, worn compared to the rest of the, the stuff especially the other colorways don't really have that look either but yeah, yeah very basic uh, let's pass let's see where we at the rack, rack and tour rack and tour crew in green Ooh, I kind of like the the palace spell on the sleeve it's kind of cool black looks cool the blue ain't bad do they also have a spell out front and center yeah all right I don't like that they have the spell up there front and center. I think on the sleeve they should have just left it with the only branding. Uh, the outliner crew, we got a triferg. It's just a stencil, the outline version, a little doodle version. Not bad. Looks like it's embroidered, so it should be nice. Ooh, I like this colorway. The sand colorway is nice. So is the black. All the other ones. Eh. The basics logo crew, which is basically uh, the London crew. Pretty simple. Uh, some nice tonal colors the inky long sleeve you know a bunch more tattoos got a boat some tribal an owl some more than the button-up hat I believe I don't like it though unless I'm not a fan I wouldn't get any of those tattoos and I wouldn't wear any of those designs the basically us uh, stuff just gonna be some new colorways that we maybe haven't seen before uh, the sport sportini t-shirt gonna follow that same athletic logo style um, it's past healthy striped t-shirt uh, these colorways work I like these colorways I will say that I like I like the colorways that got going on this is a nice colorway um, I don't know maybe just the positioning is a little strange for me on that one uh, embroidered pocket tee pretty basic Got some nice tonal colorways once again it's a kind of magic same exact thing um, this time you have the little palace up on the top left corner instead of uh, last time it was just on the front. Oh, and then on the back they have a kind of magic. I like this though, this is cool. Kind of interesting, they have the shirt is called It's a Kinda, but on the back it says It's Kind Of, instead of Kinda, interesting. Uh, the 9FX shirt, I don't know what font this is referencing, I'm sure it is referencing some type of uh, font, you guys can let me know in the comments down below but since i don't know it really doesn't hold any meaning to me <laughs> uh some kind of skate t-shirt lucian clark uh skating hitting a rail oh cool to see a t-shirt for him since he's been with them for so long but um as far as some of the other designs they got better ones for sure the pe t-shirt yeah uh, i don't like the back i don't like the reversed nah skip for me we have the the damb shirt a bunch of it says damn and then london new york tokyo los angeles established yeah i don't really care for that we got palace princess t-shirt <laughs> okay dude they are they gotta have this across the ass of like some pants or something if they're gonna do that they gotta go that route as well like it's you can't you can't just do one the uh 9t t-shirt auf deutsch a little tea kettle yeah i don't know i don't really <laughs> i don't really like this one either maybe if they put that on the back and put like a little tea bag on the front small by the pocket maybe they could have done something with that but uh, i'm not crazy about that one the hardy t-shirt a little uh triferg with the heart something would have been cool that they could have done is like maybe do four on the back do one for each playing card suit but yeah this isn't too bad maybe let's see it on white maybe it'll look cool on white 
Got a gray. Got a navy. Got a white. Yeah, it's not too bad on white. I like how it pops with the white and then the triferg color too. We got the dodgy but lush t-shirt, which, uh, yeah, I don't know. This is another one of those shapes, the paradoxical ones, and uh, is that even a word? I don't know. But, yeah, I, I like the triferg a lot more compared to that. The biohazard shirt, they just uh, s superimpose, lay over it, a biohazard sign, kind of lazy. Got the tri flag t shirt, which I'm happy that they also have a t shirt for it because I really like this one. This one's dope. Um, this time around, not embroidered, and then there's also a shadow. Or actually, is it? Oh, just one. All right. So there's also a shadow added here, which I'm pretty sure there wasn't for the embroidered ones, but cool shirt. This is, this is a really cool design. A lot of the colorways looking cool too. Let's see. We have the square patch t shirt, which is pretty much just a so far t shirt. I like the tonal patches though, matching with the blank. The Ohm Shell bucket hat. Kind of cool. Not too bad. Um, very outdoorsy. Give me some uh, some hiking vibes. I don't like this though. I don't like the shape of this. It looks too, uh, too like round, not bucket enough. <laughs> the stitch up bucket hat. Yeah, I don't, I don't like it on that. Um, I don't like that stitch on there. Um, knitted bucket hat. I don't know, man. I don't like that. Cordura safari panel. I like these like back flaps that cover your uh, your neck. Though I will say I like it more when they're removable. And this one, since it overlaps with the brim, doesn't look like it would be removable. So um, the cute five panel. It's a cool trucker. I like this. Um, I wish it were more of a curved brim. But once again, making use of the like Japanese style artwork. Uh, let's see the P, the P unit hat, uh, Plan G unit. It's kind of funny, but uh, bedazzled is a pass for me. The labyrinth stuff. This is bad. I don't like that. Uh, the Sportini hat. I don't know. It's all right. Kind of cool. They have a return of this logo. Maybe it was on the other pieces as well, but um, they've used this like sporting style P quite a bit in the past as well. Uh, the, God, the inky trucker hat. Get rid of this. No, thank you. Um, the infinity denim six panel I like it but I don't like this big chrome like button or whatever or pin not button pin but maybe it's removable I don't know let's see the the princess six panel Jesus um, we also have the trifurg patch cord yeah it's all right uh, the basically a six panel I don't care the 3d p panel interesting 3d why is it how's it 3d just because it's like thick embroidery i don't know I, I feel like they've had better p hats before we got red one black one do we have a red one navy nope yeah i think they've done better p hats before the madras hats bro they need to get away from that the poplin p panels um i don't like contrast stitching so pass for me but hey maybe it's more your style the palace faux pony hair loafer which i really really like this type of camo pony hair whatever you want to call it the like animal print i'm not sure but they did this before this like cowhide type print pony hair type print i, I don't know what exactly to call it but they did this like cowhide chelsea boot and i really regret not getting it but looking at them on grailed if you are interested in getting these just know that the pattern varies so much between pairs like you can get a pair and it'll be like almost completely white so just keep that in mind um, because you know I, I missed out on those i decided to pass on them and then went back and looked at some ungrailed and a lot of the pairs that i was seeing did not look anything like this like the majority of them had mostly white on it instead of these cool colors mixing in so keep that in mind uh we, we have palace crocs which I don't know if they come in different colorways just the one yeah just the one it looks like uh palace slides i'm sure it'll be a big hit i don't know if they've done slides recently i can't really remember them biohazard pendant which kind of cool i don't mind it as a pendant um like seeing that the hippie salute bifold wallet i like this it's cool it's like a fun graphic tab on a wallet leather looking nice too hippie salute uh belt uh i don't know big pot leaf there so Easy, easily a pass for me the cushion 
uh, when I first saw this, I thought it was supposed to be like an ashtray, which would have been cool too, but uh, cushion is cushion's interesting. The finger up rug. Um, I really wish they put the dimensions for the pieces out beforehand because I think it was them who released a rug and it was just like tiny when people bought it. The Moschino collaboration, I want to say. Uh, we have some oven mitts. They call them oven gloves in the UK, I guess. Uh, hands on hands. So that's, I guess, the inspiration behind that. Uh, we also have an incense holder. Glow in the dark. We have the incense here. Okay. Never really gotten into the burning incense, but I don't know. Motorcycle driving by. A skate tool. We got the palace dice, which I think this is cool. I like the dice. Play some like D&D, &D, some with these or something. All right. Uh, dice are cool though. <laughs> the palace patches. Uh, the bun pin. We got the heart pin. I like the heart pin. Um, sticker pack, which they always do the sticker packs close up of that and then lastly we got the skate decks we just blow through these some wild designs this time around um, can't say I'm too crazy about them either let's see will we see any of the t-shirt yep we got the pal fx one any other t-shirt designs on the boards as well Ooh, all right this is a really cool one especially since they're all like from the skate crew I think this is a really cool piece um, that chrome one these ones are all right too yeah, and then that's it. That's the Palace Summer 2021 collection. Got some good pieces. A little, a little underwhelming. I feel like Palace has been missing for a lot of their seasons, but not, not, not bad overall. We got some good pieces in here. What do you guys think? I don't know. Uh, thank you for sticking around. If you made it to the very end, as always, you know. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.